This is inside the arcade. It's crazy how much is like still left here and all around. The very first time I came here, um, a lot of the machines and stuff still actually had toys in it, but people have been in here since then. So, will work for caffeine. One of the toys I was talking about. Not a go court. Greatest gumball show on earth. It's really cool. So here's an electrical inspection certificate that I, I uh, found. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but the date on it is July, um, July 6, 2012. This whole entire area, like all the way through here is this mini golf course. So you can kind of see, and this is where you'd get all your clubs and stuff. Still some left. And up there. Ugh. That was a ton of bugs. It smells really bad in there. There's an old freezer. Some pencils and scorecards still. There's just so many buildings all on this property. I used to do the bathrooms and like things just left here. This is like the trailer I guess the property owner lived in. There's like papers. Stuff left in here. See if we can find another date. Old payroll sheets say 921 2008. This is Newcastle. This goes back more, but I know that there's a giant hole right outside that door, so I don't know how sturdy that floor is back there anymore. I know there's like clothes still in the washer, and the last time we were here, there, we heard growling coming from back there. Well, I, I heard growling, so I'm cool not finding out and seeing what's back there. I've seen it. It's just a bed. That's it. So, and some clothes that were left in a washer. See, and this stuff is so creepy. It's so post-apocalyptic. It's like stuff that should be all fun and colorful and bright, but it's just left here. It's gross. It's weird. Should I kick it open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I can't really. Oh, that's why it was the wrong flashlight. So all the go-karts and stuff that are left in here. Oh, yeah, it. there's spires coming down from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. I'm put my hood up. I don't want to go too far because there's like, I see like six spiders hanging from the ceiling. You can still see everything on that wall. Let me get my camera to focus better. Or you can see there's like 10 go karts still left in here. There's so many tools and stuff left too. I wonder why, I have no idea why this place closed down. So I forgot that this place actually had like a lot of animals, mainly horses, and you could do horse rides here and stuff. 
they also had um, a big pool for bumper boats and um, like a bunch of bouncy castles and stuff. So this was the stables where they kept the horses and a couple other things. And then, whoa, I was never in here. Wow. Oh, they still have like the saddles sitting in here. on enter. It's just a bunch of horse saddles in there and it's still got the names on it. This is crazy. That's crazy. Cause these things are like expensive and you can, I'm pretty sure you could sell them to like other people. I don't know anything about horses, but like, I'm pretty sure you could sell them to other people. There's like, there's got to be like 15 of these horse saddles in here. With the horse's name too. There's Strawberry, Rex, Joey. That's a weird. I didn't know that was here. the concession stand areas but there's also like bedrooms attached That's crazy. Some socks. This one's like the cleanest because it's been shut. And then right here, they just had like a bunch of different kind of games. Like, I think one of them had, like this one you put the balloon, these doors are heavier than I thought, you put the balloon on that backboard and popped it. Oh, you can even still see some of the balloons left on there, no trading sign. I think this one like is where you had to knock stuff over and then everybody's favorite the old classic ski ball thank you appreciate you oh, wow. I don't know why this section right here is so weird to me because like that's where they kept the um, like the water slide tubes yeah. but I don't know that's just weird to me for some reason I just know this used to be a lemonade stand and all I want right now is some lemonade like from the boardwalk lemonade. Ugh. There's nothing left in here. Oh, there's an ice cream stand too. It's got a bunch of different signs in. Flavors. That is such an old water fountain. It's like this place is so big, but at the same time, for the area it's in, it's in the middle of nowhere in the country. There's so many concession stands. There's like four different concession stands all on this property. They even still have stuff still up on the or the shelves. Couldn't think of the word for shelves. 
There's stuff in that jar that's there too. It's so weird. No rules. That's how you get up to the slides. sides. There's something in there. That is such a weird place for an outside shower. Like, could you imagine just coming down these two water slides and having to, like, getting out and just, I don't know, that's weird. Made out of PVC pipe. There's something in this water, though, and I really want to know what it is. Did you throw that in there? Yep. If you fall in this water, I'm not jumping in after you. Somebody threw the bottom of a lawnmower into the pool. But at least these little tadpoles that are like right there, right on the wheel of it, made a nice home for it. There's a lot of them in there. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on today's adventure and make sure you subscribe for next times.